Let's move now from 2D geometry into 3D geometry. Uh, the, again, the formulas for many of these things like volume are going to be at the front of each section, though surface area is not something, I mean, there's no real formula for it. I mean, it depends on the shape, I suppose. Uh, that you're just going to have to remember the definition. We'll get to that in a second. Let's start with a cube. And the key to a cube, it's just like a square in the sense that all of the edges are the same length. So if I have one of the sides, one of the edges of this cube, I've got the rest of it. I got all of them. So the key to these kinds of problems is going to be finding that that edge. So the volume of this guy, if you look at the front, is side cubed, side times side times side. That makes sense. And the surface area, which we're going to talk about in a second, is just if you remember, the surface area is the area of the faces added up. And for this one, it'll be six s squared. We'll talk about it in a sec. For a rectangular solid, this is basically just you know just like a cube, except you've got rectangles forming the outsides of that box. And the volume of this guy is length times width times height. So imagine this is length, width, and height. Multiply them together, and you get the volume. A cylinder is kind of like a, or kind of like a circular prism, basically, because you've got a shape defined by these uh, circles in the bottom. And the area, or excuse me, the volume of this guy is pi r squared h, again, given at the front. One thing that they like asking about is, and we'll get to this uh, with this shape, other solids, is if you're given some other solid and they want the volume, there's two things you can do. Either A, they're going to give you the formula in the problem, in which case you just use that, or you can think about it like this. So imagine we had this shape. Let's see if I can draw this successfully. So I forget what the name of this is off the top of my head, but say you have this shape, right? So you got two triangular, I think it's like a triangular prism, two triangular shapes and then you get the lines coming up. What would be the volume of this? Well, I'm sure there's a formula, but one way you can think about it is the volume of a shape of a geometric solid is the area of this guy, of the base, times the height of the shape. Because you can imagine we're pulling this area through the surface all the way to the top. So that's, in, in fact, that's where all these other ones come from. So the volume of the cylinder, for instance, is the area of the base, which is pi r squared, it's a circle, times the height. You can imagine this guy is the area of the base, which is length times width times the height. And then, of course, same thing with the cube. So that's you know two ways. Either they're going to give you the formula, or you can remember that a volume is just the area of the base times the height, assuming it's one of these prism kind of shapes. Uh, finally, surface area. So surface area is the sum of the areas of the faces. So for a cube, for instance, the area of one of these faces is s squared, right? Side times side. We have six faces to deal with, so in order to get the total surface area, we just multiply it by six, and that's where we get six s squared. Now, how about for something like a rectangular prism? Well, there's no real formula for this. I mean, I guess there might be, be too complicated, but basically, you just got to find the areas of all the faces and add them together, and that's about it. Uh, surface area for spheres, they're actually really spheres don't come up in terms of computation; they come up in certain other ways, uh, which I think I talk about in the math tactics series. But yeah, basically, you know, just know these formulas, know how to use them, know how to work with these shapes. In the end, a lot of these harder problems are going to come down to finding triangles in the solids and using them to exploit, uh, you know, find certain things that you're going to need to solve the problem. And again, I talk more about these in the math tactics problems.